Well, next up for the Quest for 200 project, Containment Crew Cyclone Flywheels. I'm going to replace the stock ones, throw them in there, and then do some tests. So let's go over to the bench. I'm swapping in Containment Crew Cyclone uh, fly Flywheels for the next test. And uh, taking a look at them, they are, if you look at the back, compared to this is the Rapid Red I had, Beulah has in the third stage, you can see better into the light it's a much thicker flywheel it's a heavier flywheel so we'll see how that performs uh, on the 130s um, wait and see it's probably going to adversely affect spin up time we'll see if it actually affects the shot um, but it's something we're going to deal with and, and look at yeah so we're changing one variable here just the just the flywheels um, doing some a quick measurements on that i know other people have done weights on it They're just double checking that um, getting down in here with my my calipers on the uh, rapid red wheel and if I'm see if we get focus on that and reading that correctly I believe we're at 33.5 millimeters on this one um, old school here You're actually measuring it with the uh, with, a, with a little lines um, digital age is uh, hasn't caught up to me as far as calipers are, con are concerned uh, and then checking the containment crew wheels same thing, you get down here in the center, so we're not up here on the edge, but testing the center. And get the light to catch that just right. And we're at 34.4, I believe, uh, millimeters on this. So these containment crew flywheels are almost at the center where there's, because there's a little bit of curvature here. So we can do that, you can see the curvature. At the center of the curvature, there's almost a millimeter increase in size. So that's gonna increase the crush by two millimeters coming, coming through this cage, which is what we are hoping will grab the dart better and give us uh, a little bit more acceleration. So we're gonna take these, uh, install them, and then we'll get some flywheel, uh, get some foam buildup on them, and then we'll go out and uh, test them out. Quick note on the uh, Cyclone installation. They went into the Strife and the Rapid Strike cages pretty easily. The only adjustment that I had to make was I had to sh sand just a little bit right here on that lip and on that lip. There was It was rubbing just a tiny bit. That went pretty well. The Modulus cage, however, was another story. Um, the Cyclones... I had to make a lot of adjustments to this cage to get this thing in. Um, the Cyclones don't really like these modulus cages. Um, they're just a little bit tighter and the wheels being a little bit bigger, they rub. So I had to take a good bit of plastic off here, here, sand these two edges right here, and then the hard, the, the most difficult one was this right here. I had to take my Dremel and shave this whole thing out uh, to make enough room uh, to get these in here. But, a little bit of work, a little bit of elbow grease, and they're in. So we're going to put this together and get ready to test it. All right, you can see from those numbers that the Cyclones made a big difference on that. Uh, seeing about 22, in the case of Kush darts, 25 FPS increase just by putting those on there. Top shot, I think it was around 219 with Elites and averaging 205 with both Elites and Kush. And if the that last dart, uh, I think it was an outlier, it was only at 168, the Waffle darts would almost be at one. Uh, almost at 200 FPS. I wasn't expecting to see this kind of a result this quickly with this. The extra crush 
because measuring when you look at those cyclones they're about a millimeter wider and putting that together gives you another about a millimeter more of crust through each of those systems and that added friction is turning out to be about 20 25 fps within this system so the, the question now is where do i go from here because i can just go ahead and, and finish this out and say, all right, all right, we've got the 200 FPS, but I think I want to try some other combinations out. I want to try some open flywheel cages. Uh, I want to try um, some 180 motors in this. I'm The system I'm thinking of, I'm going to need a pretty big LiPo. I don't have anything near that. I might be having a LiPo that can push close to 200 amps to try to put through the, um, the Hellcats and Wolverines. Uh, so I want to try a couple of these things out before I call this. I want to try to find the optimum configuration of flywheels cages and uh, motors uh, from an FPS standpoint. Uh, you could see from a spin-up time those uh, cyclones are heavy and running off of 130 motors it works but it was about a third of a second to get those things fully spun up to speed. Once they're running they've got so much rotational energy that there wasn't a lot that, that they maintained. They were right, coming right back, coming right back. You get three four shots a second off and they recovered just fine but getting it up to that speed initially, it was a little more than a 130 can do. So I'm going to try some different combinations with this. I'm going to keep going with this because, well, I even I didn't expect it to, to hit the goal. I expected to get a bunch of different combinations and finally get there. And I'm a little shocked that I've already got 200 FPS just with the three-stage setup and, and dropping cyclones in stock cages. So that's what's next. Uh, I'm going to start looking at some cages, start looking at different motors and trying some combinations of stock flywheels versus cyclones versus high crush and, and things like that and see what uh, what happens. I'm suspect, I suspect when I start getting into high crush cages and, and some of these other combinations and I'm going to get cases where some darts work really really well and other darts don't work at all. So we're going to see this is actually not only from the FPS standpoint but the fact that all four types of darts that I put through this worked and they worked flawlessly. I'm still just kind of blown away with these results. So anyways, this is the uh, Cyclone, Containment Crew Cyclone uh, flywheel test with the uh, Quest for 200 project. Thanks for watching.